This is Mr. Randall Kraft, um, who built the building himself <laughs> in the 80s and uh, has climbed, climbed Mount Everest several times and just a great job. So, stand, if you stand right here. Okay. I'm Randall Erkin Brack, and I, I, uh, I'm a farmer. That's my only income. I'm fifth generation, and I bought that piece of property in 1983 to put a packing facility because I didn't have a big enough one on Brandon Hill and Moore, which was a 1880 historic farm. I came there, I'm 26 years old, I needed a million and a half dollars, and the bank, banks didn't want to talk to me. But I had a really good business plan, and I thought it was a worthy project. Without not building that, I could not make the money that I could generate because I didn't have a big enough packing facility. The location was ideal, it was a mile and a quarter off the exit. Semis could get into it. So I brought my fruit from Genola and Payson and Orm to that facility. Um, I had to surrender my pilot's license because they wanted to have a $2 million life insurance policy. In case I died, that would pay the building payment. I paid the building off and my life changed. I'm still a full-time farmer, that's the only occupation I have. But I'm doing pie chairs. I don't need the big building anymore. I've held that ground for many, many years. Sometimes with nothing on it. Sometimes with trees on it. For the city, because my children were, were raised here. They went to the, the elementary, and the, I took them out of Grandview area in Orm, a year-round program called West Ridge, the first year-round school top school in the property state, Dr. Bumstar, and I brought him to Santa Quinn for a lot of reasons. The people here were really, really nice people, and it gave an opportunity to work closer. I could be by my facility so I could be by my children more. So that location is prime. I've had many developers come and want to put multifamily on there. And that's what Santa Quinn's going to end up. It's just a main street of multifamily. I held that ground so these guys, the city people, could invest in something that was worthy. That's why I'm throwing up the money because there's youngsters right there that need that opportunity, even if it's just to inspire them and the old people like me to go out and exercise or be part of a community. We have nothing in Santa Cruz as far as a community center. This is kind of in the middle. We're a fragmented town. I lived here, I felt it for many years. I think the window opportunity for you all to put something so beautiful like that together is now. Um, I'm not in the dollars and cents. I just know I let these guys, these city guys, I gave them free run of my ground and said design something good for the city. I did not make any suggestions comments, I just looked at it because I wanted the best and ultimate plan that would fit this city because we got really nothing. That would be the cornerstone of our city. That's why I think it's so important for me. I'll tell you what, I'm a dreamer. I'm a poor kid that was a farmer, but I, I climbed Everest. And I want to instill these young people and old people like myself. I'm going back with artificial means. Because I think that we need something to look at, we need something to dream about, something that we can be proud of in the city. What have we got? You know what? The window for you all, for me, is very tight. I think it's a beautiful project because if it don't happen, there's going to be four-story high-rises, as many as the city will allow. And you know what? It'll break my heart because it's not what I want to see happen on my place. And so that's why I threw down and let these guys design. They did a wonderful job. I give them free reign of my ground. I have 24 acres. I think you got eight of it. If, you, if I'm a business guy and I take them eight acres and turn it into high density housing like we did at Orm, each door is worth $15,000 per door for the dirt. Here it's not as much, but it's worth about eight to 10,000. So 25 acres and you just put 15 units per acre, you times it out what the dirt's worth what my dirt and my ground's worth. I've actually, I'm so excited about this project that I'm just kind of 
hoping that everyone else will get excited because I think commerce will come. I shouldn't have the norm. I lived on Main Street Norm. I was there before I 15. Look what happened to the University Parkway. Somebody took a risk, somebody put it in. Pearl didn't take the risk. They didn't get it. They have nothing. Orm is a wealthy city because they poured the University Parkway. That's where the mall went. I think it's a worthy investment. You know, I just, sometimes it's difficult. It's like me at 27 years old, buying off a million and a half dollars. I just believe you work hard, you have a dream, and you, and you make it happen. Because if you don't, you regret. You regret not that opportunity that you get in the past. And, and it's for these young guys. I'm doing this for my grandkids. I'm not doing this for me. Everybody's saying, I was going to make a lot of money. Hey, you know what? If I want to make a lot of money, there's a apartment right there, but I sell it immediately. I don't, I don't wait for Santa. If I'm a business guy, that's where the money's at. For me? But I'm throwing down some money. If some of you all would throw down some money, if you can't afford it, hell, I'll front the cost so you can go participate there in some of my money. You know what I mean? I really will. I think it's that that good of a project. Um, I have other ground. I'll pack my ground for taxes, but I just think it's so worth it that if you don't do it now, you know what? You're going to have a build up Main Street, and where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You're going to gonna go. I guarantee you, in 20 years, that place there will be in the middle of your city. I rode on a dirt road on Main Street to Grandview School when I was a kid. And look at, I crossed University Parkway on a tractor with no lights. See if you can get across University Parkway with no, with no lights and a tractor now, not a chance. That's how much this is going. Santa Quinn is on the edge of really doing something great. I can't, I can't believe, sometimes you just gotta have a lot of, you just gotta have, you just gotta be brave. You just gotta get good numbers and go for it. They'll come, you build it, I guarantee you, they'll come. Uh, if you need more ground and I haven't done anything, I, I planted new trees. Then we'll give you a little more ground, make it two soccer fields. That's how important it is. If you got any questions for me? You can beat me up, I, you know, I, <laughs> The option was to pull it off the market, but I let these guys have full reign of my ground. I didn't restrict the acreage. Not at all, did I Ben? Zero. I wanted them to think freely with the engineers so they could get the best project on my ground. Do you know why? Because I ain't gonna live very long, and I want a good project that my grandkids will say, hey, he helped facilitate that to get it going. That's where us old guys, we're, I'm a senior citizen. Hell, I might even go to senior citizens to have there. I don't know if I will, but I, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, if everyone in this city would give back, just give something and make this town better than when they came, we'd have a great town. The problem is there's people that don't want to give back. They want to take, they want to depress, they want to push down. I'm a person that wants to lift everyone. I don't care who you are, I want to live. I'm a dreamer. Do you think a farm boy from Warren at, at 58 years old could climb Everest? Probably not. It's a long shot, but you got to give her a wing. You only have one, one chance in life to do something great, and I believe this is it. Thank you.